Okay, what we're gonna do today is repair a Samsung Galaxy Mega, also known as a phablet. Um, the entire LCD and digitizer. What you'll need to do the repair is, of course, your LCD, your end digitizer, which both of them are adhered together. You'll need a Phillips screwdriver and a metal pick or a uh, or a plastic pick that you can use. I prefer the metal big pick because you can actually get into the case a lot better. So I'm going to go ahead and show you that. that uh, it's all cracked up and we're going to go ahead and replace it. Uh, the first thing would be to turn it over and of course um, take off the back cover. Uh, there's a little tab on the left hand side once you turn it over. And we'll go ahead and remove that. Remove the, the particular battery. Place that over here. And start removing all of the uh, screws that are on the frame. We'll go ahead and use the pick to open the frame. Just slide it around the entire frame. You'll hear it snap as it comes up. Your mic, and we can also use some tweezers to detach the latch that's holding the frame in place more easily. And this is what the motherboard of the Samsung Galaxy Mega looks like. Okay. Um, what we'll do is go ahead and detach all of the um, jawbone connectors. Uh, you have the LCD here uh, on your right hand side. That's one. Uh, you have your your cameras and everything up here. Um, and then of course you have a third one or a fourth one. A fifth one be careful how you actually detach this one because it flips over this way to your left hand side where the, the lower one actually flips to the right hand side then from that particular point you can actually use your pick to remove the motherboard be careful because you have quite a few different um, jawbone connectors still in the way. Make sure you're careful to take the connector here off. That's the left hand side and the right hand side before you take remove the motherboard. Uh, place the motherboard over here. Then from that particular point I can go ahead and take off the particular screen itself. Okay? So what I'll do is remove the screen from from the uh, frame. You can use a actual uh, blow dryer to loosen it up which I already have uh, to save time and then I can go ahead and pop it out okay being that the old one is removed I'm going to go ahead and put the new LCD and digitizer in the uh, frame and reassemble it here's the button for the um, Samsung Galaxy Mega basically you're going to go ahead and put that back in just like it was you can always use um, double-sided 3M uh, tape adhes for adhesive uh, you'll just put it here and wherever you see necessary what I'm going to do is go ahead and reinsert the new digitizer and LCD again into the frame be careful 
to not press too hard because like so the button fell out and if it had fell inside you may have cracked your new LCD and digitizer also the top grill you want to actually be careful of too because if you don't place it incorrectly it will definitely crack the digitizer so here we go again what I'll do is do that and go ahead and insert the flex cable there and you see it right here on the left hand side make sure that is down here and even reinsert the motherboard back into the phone make sure that the uh, jawbone uh, connectors are actually out of the way along with the wiring as much as possible and reinsert the motherboard You can use your metal pick or plastic pick to make sure that the wiring is still in the tracks here. Or grooves to make sure that the motherboard sits flush. And that's your left side, your blue wire and your black wire there okay so now what we'll do is start to attach the camera and the mic jawbone connectors back to the motherboard like so and also the LCD do that next don't force it just go ahead and reattach all cabling um, all connectors what I'll do is go ahead and reattach the cabling first before I do that careful not to tear this power flex cable here not the power but the LCD flex cable make sure it's on secure and what I will do now is put that missing screw in its proper place right here in the center of the board What we'll do is insert the battery back in, put the back cover back on, power it up, and there we have a new Samsung Galaxy Mega screen that actually works. And that looks like success. Now, if you have any questions about uh, any repairs, always go to 404 Computer Repair. Um, if you have any questions regarding any repairs, just go to um, ComputerRepairAtlantaStore.com or give us a call at 404-259-0183 and we'll be glad to answer any questions or if you want to purchase any parts, you can also give us a call.
also.